Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video we're going to learn how to assemble all of the solar car parts that we designed in previous videos. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's come on up here and go to file and we're going to start a new design. Let's go ahead and save it and we will call it solar car assembly in your name. Okay. Let's go ahead and select save. All right, so now that we've saved it, the next thing we want to do is go ahead and start inserting parts. And I only recommend maybe doing two, three parts at a time. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on my chassis part here, and I'm going to insert into current design. Okay, and I don't want it like that, so I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees in a more favorable position. Okay, and I'm just going to type in minus 90 here, and then select OK. All right, and I'm going to kind of work around this chassis. So I'm going to be building off of this part here. So I'm going to come on over here to my chassis part here, and I am going to right click, okay, ground, so it does not move, okay? So the next thing I want to do now is bring in our two axles. So I'm going to right click, insert into current design, and I'm going to kind of move it into a favorable position here. Select OK, and we need one more axle in the back here, so I'm going to right click, do the same thing, insert into current design. Okay, I'm going to move them down just a little bit. Select OK. So now let's go ahead and assemble these two axles. So I want to come up here to assemble, I want to select joint, and I want to come down and I want to select revolute. And what Revolute Joint will do is it'll allow our axles to spin or rotate. It'll give us one degree of freedom. So I'm going to select Revolute. All right. And I'm going to zoom in and I want to select this center portion of my circle. And I want that center portion of the circle to correspond with this center of the circle. All right. So go ahead and select OK. OK. But we also need it now to stick out a little bit. So I'm going to just drag it out a little bit something like oh let's see here I'm gonna kinda eyeball it so that it looks mm, symmetrical so let's go with minus point two five inches okay and select OK and now let's go ahead and repeat that procedure for our rear axle so I am going to rotate my part around, come on up to assemble, select joint, zoom in, select that center portion there, do the same thing, and we want that center point to correspond to this center point, or match up, okay, and then once again I'm going to go ahead and slide it out a distance of 0.25 inches, same as last time, and select OK. And remember, you can always go in and edit your joint. If you come on up here to joints and you right click on them, you can always adjust these settings that we just, or our offset settings that we just entered. So go ahead and select OK. All right, I'm going to rotate my chassis around here now. And we're going to go ahead and put on the motor and the two gears in the wheel here. So let's go ahead and first assemble our motor. So I'm going to right click, let's insert it into current design and place it in a favorable manner sort of close to where we want it. I'm going to move it over just a little bit more. And that's probably pretty good. Select OK. All right, now we want this motor to be placed inside of our motor housing here. So um, you got to think about, well, what parts match up or correspond to this feature here. So um, I'm going to go ahead and assemble, and I'm going to do a joint, and I'm going to do what's known as a rigid joint and that allows zero degrees of freedom so it's completely locked in there will not move okay so now I'm going to go back to position and I think you know this position um, let's see here right there will correspond to well 
Uh, not that one. So let's flip it around this position right here. Okay. And it looks like it fits in there pretty snug. Let's go ahead and select OK. All right, so our motor is right where we want it. All right, so now let's go ahead and attach our gears. So I'm going to first go ahead and attach our small gear here. So I'm going to right click, insert into current design, and once again place it sort of over where I want it assembled. Select OK. All right, and we are going to do another Revolute joint. OK, so what I'm going to do now is come on up to Assemble and select Joint again. But we want to come back now to a Revolute joint. OK, and once again, we got to select uh, where we want this guy. So I want this sort of portion right here to match up with, well, uh, we can select there, that works, right there. Okay, go ahead and select OK. Now let's go ahead and repeat this process for our larger gear, and keep in mind that our larger gear here is attached to our wheel as well. So we're, both, we're kind of doing both a wheel and a gear at the same time. So let's go ahead and insert it into current design. Okay, let me get it in a good location. Okay, select OK, and we're going to do another Revolute joint on that axis. Okay, so I'm going to come up to Assemble, select Joint, select Revolute. Okay, and I want this portion to line up with that portion right there. Okay, and we're looking pretty good. All right, so the next thing we want to do now is to apply a motion link to our gears. So let's come up to Assemble and select Motion Link. And it's asking us now to select the two joints. So we're going to come on over here and we're going to select our first Revolute joint. And then we're going to select our second Revolute joint. Okay, and now we need to make some changes here. So if you recall, our small gear here had, a, had 12 gear teeth. And our large gear here had 30 gear teeth. And if we simplify, well, 12 over 30, we simplify that fraction, we get 2 over 5. So we get a gear ratio of 2 to 5. In other words, this thing spins twice to every 5 times for the small gear. So we can mimic that up here by entering our values. Let's go to 2, hit the tab button, 5. Okay, and now we have something that looks more realistic. Okay, so once you've got that, and it's spinning properly, go ahead and select OK. So now if you grab your mouse, you zoom in and you move it with your mouse, you'll see that your gears mesh and spin together properly. OK. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and add the other three wheels. OK, so let's go ahead and I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. And I'm going to right click on my solar car wheel. I'm going to insert this guy into current design. And as always, I'm going to sort of place it in a favorable manner. Okay, something like that. And maybe a little lower. Select OK. I'm going to rotate it around. Zoom in. Assemble joint. And we want to select a rigid joint this time. Okay. So I'm going to select that axle or that center point, and it's going to match up with that center point. Okay, and that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and select OK. Now let's go ahead and do our front two axles, or front two wheels, excuse me, on our front axle. Right click, insert into current design. Once you got it where you like it, go ahead and assemble joint and repeat the same process here. So that same point, that same point looks good. Let's go ahead and do our last wheel on this side.
Okay, once you got it where you want it, once again, repeat the same process, go to joint, that will go right there, okay, select OK. All right, and the last thing we want to do now is to go ahead and insert our solar panel part. So I'm going to right click, insert into current design, just like last time, let's move it around so it looks like it's going to be in a good position there, something like that, looks pretty good. Actually, I'm going to move it up just a little bit to give me some room to work with. I'm going to select OK. All right, and now we need to assemble it. And you got to think again what parts correspond with one another. So I'm going to come up to Assemble, Joint. And I think this point or location here, OK, matches up with this center point right here. OK looks pretty good but you're like hey it's not it's not really how we want it right so you can grab this guy right here and then I would adjust it I think it's right around 25 degrees I'm gonna type in 25 hit right looks pretty good select OK All right, and finally, you probably don't want to see all the joints that you've applied. So to get rid of them, let's just turn off the visibility of them. And when you're all done, of course, don't forget to save it. That'll do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.